you guys bringing the full squad down to LA and then going over to Kansas City or kind of splitting it up a little bit? Uh, individual choices. So there'll be some guys who'll go to LA, some guys will stay here and go to Kansas City. So we're evaluating that and going to make final decisions. What, what kind of challenges is, is it playing with three games in seven days? It's always a challenge, especially with, with Sunday game, you know, being so tight to the Wednesday game, you know, and LA's got 48 hours more rest going into it. Their game at the back end is a little bit tighter, but, you know, going into it, they've got more rest. So, uh, you know, the other challenge that exists with these games is you're not quite sure what kind of lineup they're going to put on there, so you're guessing a little bit. Kirk was telling us yesterday that he feels like Chad Marshall got snubbed for the All-Star game. What do you make of the year Chad's had? It seems like he's pretty much been doing what he always does. Yeah, I mean, you know, those are selections. You know, I know as a coach, you're trying to put a team together. There's a lot of players in this league that are probably deserving of that honor. You know, I, uh, sometimes it's a little bit of reflection of record uh, as well. You know, so that's just something we have to accept a little bit. But, uh, you know, I think Chad's played well. I think a number of other guys could have could have been selected as well. I think what makes him so special inside the box of Florida Kings, Chad, he's got obviously some kind of goals this season. He's got a big head. If you look at his head, <laughs> he's got a big so. head. Yeah, and, you know, he's... His timing's always been good in the air. He's a big guy, you know. He's he's fearless, and when he's when he's on the move like that, then he's really tough to mark. And uh, you know, I mean, he scored a lot of big goals with his head. I think I don't know what he would say is his biggest. Certainly, I remember the one he scored in the MLS Cup, and that was off a corner from Shaloto, and he, he came in, you know, and, and just really timed it really well. So whenever he's moving, uh, you know, he's 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 dangerous. I think sometimes he gets held and and picked and it sort of gets over overseen or overlooked because he's a big guy so they think he should fight through that. At this point is there any lingering kind of disappointment out here that you're sensing with the guys from Sunday's loss or are they just focused in on what's next? We got to focus on what's next so it's a good thing that we have a quick turnaround and we're playing again so you can get yourself geared up and focused on the next game. Uh, you know obviously we we were disappointed with what happened on Sunday and you know it just means uh, a little more work for us, but we got to continue to go. Brad was telling me that him and the majority of the players don't look at the standings or pay any attention to that whatsoever, that they know that obviously they're not winning right now, but that he has no idea where they are in the standings. Do you <laughs> think that is a good thing, or would you rather that the guys paid attention to that to maybe like light a fire under them, or I what's think, your take? I think the guys know. You know, I don't think they need to look at the standings to, to make sure what they're thinking is accurate. Okay. Uh, I think the guys know. They know we've talked about it often enough in years past that basically a point and a half a game, if you're averaging that, will get you into the playoffs. This year it might be less than that based on how things are going. But, uh, uh, you know, right now we're not close to that, so they know that we're, we're still a ways away. So, uh, you know, I don't think you got to wake up every morning and beat yourself up for it. Looked like Roman Torres uh, went through most of the training today. Has his status changed at all? Uh, just doing more and more parts of training, you know, getting him in with the team more, still is neutral, and uh, we hope by the end of this week, you know, he'll be uh, full in, and for sure next week he should be full in. How impressed are you with his work ethic and desire to get back out here? I mean, he's been good. He's been good. Whenever you have an injury like he's had, and like I said, it was a little more complicated than a regular ACL, you know, I mean, he's had to push hard and work hard, you know, uh, to come back, and he's... Uh, He's got a positive attitude, he's got a smile on his face, and he's a big guy who works hard every day. When you were talking about points per game, uh, how hard is it now to separate like the U.S. Open quarterfinals versus Saturday where you have a, a league game where you need to, you need to make points? Uh, I mean, every time we step on the field, we want to win, and we're going to put a group on the field that we think can win. Certainly for us right now, the priority is MLS, you know, and getting getting points in MLS. So we have to make decisions, you know, when we're uh, erring on the side of caution in those decisions, we're certainly going to err on the side of having a stronger team for the MLS game. But, uh, you know, we're not ignoring this game either. Portland shot nearly 50% in the second half. I think they took four shots on goal and converted two of those. Um, is there anything that, that you're gleaning from that, that you can learn from that? Okay. We haven't converted well all season, so if we could convert like that, we, our record wouldn't be the way it is. And, uh, you know, again, it's, uh, you know, some days it goes, you know, uh, for you like that. Was Valeri crossing the ball or was he shooting? Ended up being a, a spectacular goal. You know, as a player, you're going to say, I was shooting. 
um, you know, not so sure. But, uh, you know, it was a great goal at the end of the day. And he, you know, he got his body in front and, and he made that play. So, uh, you know, we gave him some counters. So some of their shots were, you know, open shots. You know, Adi scores a good goal because it was a good counter. Uh, but did he really hit the ball the way he wanted to? Uh, I don't think so. I, I think he stubbed his toe. And if he hits it maybe the way he wants to, maybe Fry makes the save. You know, because he's moving that direction, that's the forward's going to try and hit it in that direction. Uh, but it ended up going back over him. So, uh, you know, I'm not saying it's good fortune. Okay, please, please don't misunderstand that. But certainly, if you can convert at a rate of two out of four, and last year when you look at our conversion rate, it was really, really good. And that's why we won games.